Hey guys, welcome to the awakening. And today I think we're on day 47 or 48, I can't be sure, one or the other. <laughs> and um, I want to talk today about healing sensory overload. I think that would be a really good subject to take you from the dark into the light by healing sensory overload. Hope you like my hair. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> so um, I've got my smoothie here, my blend up. I'm going to do a review about blend jet. I already did one. I'm not sure if it came out, but anyway, coming back to what I was saying, sensory overload. Um, let's face it, we're all going through so much. <laughs> so much, so much, so much. And um, your little child and anything that you haven't actually dealt with is going to be coming up now. It's going to be bringing everything up. Everything's going to be coming up. Everything, everything, everything. So I teach when I learn. I heal when I learn. And, and this week I had a couple of experiences, as you know, where my little child was kicking and screaming. Um, there was a lot of pain coming from her. I didn't realize it, the, the noise levels, but then there was other stuff that happened which pushed me into the space where I sat there and I thought, this can't go on anymore. I want to sort it out. And so I sat with it as I was taught in the therapeutic community. And I was taken back to being five years old in my mind. And I felt the feelings that I needed to feel. I talked about them. I let them come up. And whatever was going on with me in the present, the post-traumatic stuff, seemed to disintegrate and I was able to carry on. I was able to become, <coughs> excuse me, I was able to become an adult and to do my work. Okay, so what did I do exactly that you can do as well? I'm, that's what I'm going to explain to you now in a nutshell in The Awakening. So how am I going to take you from the darkness of all the sensory overload? Um, difficult to eat with what's going on if you're sitting in a house where they've got a TV set on. Or for, for God's sake, turn off the TV. For God's sake, turn off the rubbish, the mainstream rubbish. It's all lies and tune into moving on TV, yeah. But um, well, we give you everything, we give you every single angle, everything that I can think of, or I, anyone who gets in touch with me. But how do you get from the darkness into the light if you're in a situation where it is, it's just overload, total overload, like it was for me in the last few days, on and off? Okay, well, Course in Miracle teaches me you're never upset for the reason you think. You're never upset for the reason you think, okay? So you may think you're upset about something. You may think that this is actually what set you off, that put you in a certain space. No. You're never upset for the reason you think. It's either coming from your fear of the future or your past experiences as a child or even past life. So what you do is you sit, close your eyes, and you say, when did I feel like this before? And it'll take you back to an incident um, where you felt like that. It was very quick. It took me back to the day before. And then I said, no, I want to go to the core. Where did I feel like this before? And so I closed my eyes and I could see this big pink table. And I was in my mother and father's kitchen. Now, when I was about five years old, my parents decided to renovate. So there was a lot of noise going on. And for a sensitive child, an empath, I remember climbing underneath the table to get away from the noise. I didn't like it. I was scared. I didn't like the noise. And I, I get the feeling that I had to eat and I couldn't eat. I couldn't digest my food. Um, and so I was taken back there. And then I was taken back to a situation which I actually wrote about in my life story, which I'm trying to do in my book, where I was in the garden. 
and there was a, a lawnmower, a really loud lawnmower. And, you know, and I wasn't brought up in a household where people cared about my feelings, where, you know, if something upset me, they do something very quickly. It wasn't like that. So the lawnmower was going, and in my little child mind, I thought that the fairies were going to be killed by the lawnmower. And so I went into this total panic. As I sat on the bed, as the person that I am, as the adult I am, that identity was in me. I felt it. I really felt that five-year-old little girl in the garden with the fairies, I thought, were going to be killed. The fairies were being killed uh, by the lawnmower. And of course, no one sat me down. No one explained to me, Lauren, this is not going to happen. It's just, you know, the fairies will fly away. <laughs> or, or just don't be frightened. They never told me anything. And so that all gets stuck inside us, okay? And that's what is stuck inside you. When you get sensory overload and you cannot cope with it, and contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com and I will help you to understand how to get past it. Okay, if you're, it just comes from nowhere. You just get triggered. It happened yesterday so quickly. Um, there I was doing my work very happily and then my husband comes in and he starts to get dinner together in the same room in this tiny little box that we live, bringing out the food and I couldn't do it. I just sat there and thought, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. I can't do it, I've got to run, I've got to run, I've got to escape. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. I thought, okay, well, if he goes or if I just sit there crying or I just run away I'm not getting that real experience and it's still there I can still feel the five-year-old I still feel it there's some trepidation and fear and panic about what's going to happen when the food comes out when I'm working I can feel it still there but it's a little bit detached and even though I this, this morning I slept through the banging of the neighbors next door and I got up and I felt a bit detached like I wasn't screaming I wasn't crying I wasn't there was nothing I felt detached so it works it works so you have to get in touch with whatever it is that shocked you in the first place I'm gonna have another drink mm. guys this is delicious what I did is I blended ice it blends ice yeah I'm, as I said I'm doing a program about it ice um, with some fruit juice and a banana and that was it absolutely delicious absolutely delicious and um, really refreshes you in this heat and it really feels good so anyway so that's it really so taking you from the dark into the light so when you get sensory overload contact me i've got a lot of experience i've healed my mental health issues that were total sensory overload and guilt uh, from a child. I realized I lost my brother. I had uh, experiences where I realized I lost my twin. My, I was a twin in the womb. There were things like that that came up for me. And, and now I realize all these other things that are coming up around noise. So it takes time, it takes self nurturing, it takes love. And I'm here to help you as much as I can. So let's have a look at how to stay sane in a crazy world today. Or the cards that we do every day. How to stay sane in a crazy world. How to stay sane in a crazy world. Back to front. <laughs> it must be on the mirror or something. These are the cards that you can get them from me. Um, I channeled them. I channeled them after I came out of the community and in the wheelchair. How to live one day at a time, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, doing your best to stay sane without medication because I don't believe in this stuff and I never will and I'm not interested in pushing it. Your job is to do whatever you feel, but personally, I feel it's not the answer. They're just packed with chemicals and rubbish and we're in a new world now, so all of that is going, so it doesn't matter what I say, and I'm not putting a disclaimer, I have a right to say the truth, medication for certain conditions do not work. 
You can take a tiny bit maybe, but if you've got a sensitive body like me, it's, they're likely to make you physically sick as well as having emotional disturbances. And that's all it is, an emotional disturbances, my darling. That's all it is. And once you get over the emotional disturbance that this causes, you, um, that your past and the shock, uh, hair is sticking on my lipstick. <laughs> as soon as you get past that, you can do your work because you don't need medication. I never take it. And I come in and out sometimes because we're in an awakening. We're being shook up, like I shook up this thing, you know, like the blender. That's what's happening to you. That's what's happening to our world. We're being, we're being blended all over the place, shook up all over the place, and stuff is coming up. So today we got mirror, mirror on the wall. I just said something about mirroring, mirror, mirror on the wall. It's mirrored at the moment. Hang on a second, let's turn it around. There we go. Doesn't make any difference at all. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall is what we're seeing here. For some reason it's back to front today. Usually not back to front. Today you're going to see everyone as your mirror. When I was recovering, people said very hurtful things to me. As I got well, I realized they were either mirrors reflecting myself in some way back or teachers. Today, I would like you to decide who are your mirrors, who is reflecting your behavior, your fear or your anger back to you. This will give you such power to be grateful to them. My mirrors show me my biggest fear. What do yours show you? I became sane because of these tools. Practice them so you will have more peace. Good luck. Mirror, mirror, tell me please, what's my message? So I can be at ease, woo! There you go, that's your mirror, mirror on the wall. And as you know, we always do a messenger from heaven as well. Messages from heaven, from your loved ones to see, because they are all working with us to create the beautiful Jasara and Asara. Uh, watch Charlie Ward's interview. Watch the positive news that I'm putting out for you. I'm going to choose one now, one, two, three, there we go. And today we have talked to us, we are listening, and you've got beautiful, beautiful out. Talk to us, we are listening. Sorry, it's back to front, not sure why. Talk to us, we are listening, and you've got a beautiful owl. The owl is all about wisdom. Talk to us, we are listening. Now, what did I do yesterday? I talked to spirits, I talked to the angels, I talked, I asked them to help me with the situation. What is wrong with me? Why am I being triggered? What is wrong with me? And they gave me the opportunity to feel what I needed to feel. And I felt it. I felt it. So I think it's on like, um, like 30s. <laughs> and I felt it, guys. I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> and I was able to heal it. <laughs> I have so much fun with moving on TV. Do you have fun with what you're doing? Find something you love as much as I love moving on TV. Do it. Do whatever you want. Come on board moving on TV. Please subscribe. Subscribe, like, share. Come on board. Uh, if you want to do your own shows, we want you here. This is your TV station of the future. We are taking over the mainstream. The mainstream is only going to tell you what they are told, you know, the little puppet. We tell you the truth. We tell you every single angle so you can make your own choices. I love you lots. Enjoy the awakening. Take care. Have a beautiful day. And if you're triggered, like I might be again tonight because it's hot and... Sometimes extremities can trigger you, social media can trigger you, the news can trigger you, loony bin things that you're reading in there can trigger you. You just need to take a deep breath and say, okay, I've been triggered. Okay, that's your validation. That's what we did in the community. Read Simply Amazing, the book that I'm in. You can get that also from the uh, um, Nashton Lane, from Paul and Cecile, or from me. 
not sure why everything's back to front today. Anyway, that's simply amazing back to front. I'm chapter eight. And uh, in here, you can read my story of recovery. Um, it's an absolutely fascinating story. No medication, nearly two years in a therapeutic community. And it's also going to go on to Awake Blondes with um, Angie. And um, as I said, if you're triggered, ring your bell and say, help, I've been triggered. And then I want to figure this out now. I'm in the awakening. Take a deep breath. Okay, where did I feel like this before? Ah, oh, it was yesterday. That was interesting. Okay, take a deep breath. Where did I feel before that? Spirit, where do I need to go? And spirit will take you to wherever you need to go. If you need help, if you, need, if you want a psychic reading or tarot reading, because you know I do a lot, a lot, and I'm here for you. Um, with, according to what you can afford, um, we will talk. Take care, love you lots. Please share everywhere. And oh, one more thing. I'm also, I'd like a child uh, to introduce Moving On TV, some of the programs. So if you know anyone that wants to be a star, because you, you're all stars, you're all unique stars, someone who wants to come on and do anything uh, like that, like a young person or a child to introduce the programs, then it's their future, it's their TV station. Please subscribe. Please contact us by email, movingontv1 at gmail.com. Bye. <laughs> Bye.